In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on January 16, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Utah Jazz vs. Minnesota Timberwolves On Monday afternoon, the Utah Jazz traveled to the Target Center for a road matchup with the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Jazz were clipped 118-117 to at home by the Philadelphia 76ers. The Timberwolves beat the Cleveland Cavaliers 110-102. to Looking at the betting trends, the Jazz are 1-4 against the spread in their last five games following an against-the-spread win and 0-4 against the spread in their last four Monday games. The Timberwolves are 4-1 against the spread in their last Last five home games, four to one against the spread in their last five games following a win, and five to two against the spread in their last seven games overall. Head to head, the over is five to one in the last six meetings overall. The Jazz are two to six to one against the spread in the last nine meetings overall, and the Jazz are fifteen to six against the spread in the last twenty-one meetings in Minnesota. The Jazz are again missing Colin Sexton and Kelly Olynyk, while Lori Markkanen could miss out again. The Timberwolves have their own injuries to deal with as Jordan McLaughlin and Carl Anthony. Towns are still out, while Ruddy Gobert is in danger of sitting out after leaving Saturday's game with right groin soreness. The Jazz have really been struggling lately as they've lost eight of their last 11 games, but they were more than competitive in their narrow loss to the 76ers. However, the Timberwolves are the form team in this matchup and I think they can keep the good times rolling if Edwards can get hot again. The Utah Jazz have shown signs over these last couple of weeks of falling off a bit. Regardless, the Minnesota Timberwolves can't afford to blow games like this if they're serious about making a playoff push. At home, the Timberwolves just can't lose this game. It's that simple. So the Minnesota Timberwolves to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Minnesota comes into this Western Conference showdown ranked 7th in pace of play. Saturday was the 11th game this season for Anthony Edwards with at least 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. He has been their primary scoring option with Carl Anthony Towns out of the lineup, and it looks like he will need to shoulder more of the load without Gobert available. The Timberwolves have won 6 of their last 7 games, including 2 straight on back-to-back -back nights. They have fought back to the .500 mark after 44 games. I anticipate this one being a high score game, with both clubs pushing the tempo without their big men available. The total has gone over in seven of Utah's last eight road games. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Phoenix Suns vs. Memphis Grizzlies The 2022-2023 NBA season goes on with a nine-game Monday card and brings this Western Conference clash from FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee as the Phoenix Suns take on the Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis enters this contest on fire, winners of nine straight games after defeating Indiana on Saturday, 130-112. Phoenix has lost two straight after losing to Minnesota on Friday, 122 to 160. This is the third meeting between these teams this season with the road team winning both of the first two contests, including the Suns defeating the Grizzlies 125 to 108 on December 27. Looking at the betting trends, the Suns are 1 to 4 against the spread in their last 5 games playing on 2 days rest and 4 to 1 against the spread in their last 5 road games against a team with a home record above .600. The Grizzlies are 35 to 16 to 1 against the spread in their last 52 home games, 6 to 2 to 1 against the spread in their last 9 games following a win of more than 10 points and 4 to 9 to 1 against the spread in their last 14 games against a team with a losing record. The Suns are again missing Devin Booker, Chris Paul, Landry Shamit and Cam Johnson, while the Grizzlies will again be without Dylan Brooks and John Conchar. The Phoenix Suns are playing some of its worst basketball over a three-year stretch without Devin Booker and Chris Paul available. Booker has missed 17 of the past 18 games with a left groin strain and only played four minutes in the one game he played. The team is 4-14 in that stretch. Chris Paul has missed the last four games with right hip soreness. They have not looked good without them, and neither will be available for this game. Memphis is in the opposite boat, playing some of its best basketball basketball of the season during its nine-game winning streak. 
They have covered the spread in six of nine and have won five straight home games. The Phoenix Suns aren't winning games and the injuries are getting more and more out of hand as now Chris Paul is ruled out. The Memphis Grizzlies are consistent and they're a buzz saw at home, where they win by an average of 11 points and allow 42.9% shooting. The Suns are capable of beating the lesser teams in the league despite missing their best players, but I don't see them staying competitive against this red-hot Grizzlies team. The Grizzlies should be able to blow the doors off. It's Grizzlies and the chalk for me, as the Suns are too banged up to back, especially on the road. Look for this to be another blowout, so the Memphis Grizzlies to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Memphis ranks fifth in pace of play entering this Western Conference meeting with the reeling Phoenix Suns. Phoenix will not have its full complement of players, and they have struggled in a big way offensively. The Grizzlies notched its ninth straight win with a 130-112 drubbing of the Indiana Pacers Saturday evening. Yamward had 23 points and 10 assists while Desmond Bain scored 25 points. You can expect a similar type of game here, one where Morant and Bain will not have to do much in the second half. The total number has gone under in six of Phoenix's last eight games, and eight of their last 12 facing the Grizzlies. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Houston Rockets vs. Los Angeles Lakers The 2022-2023 NBA season goes on with a nine-game Monday card and brings this Western Conference clash from Crypto.com Arena as the Houston Rockets take on the Los Angeles Lakers. This will be the second of back-to-back -back games for Los Angeles, who takes on Philadelphia on Sunday. Houston is also playing on Sunday, taking on the Los Angeles Clippers. They had lost nine straight games entering that contest. These teams have not faced each other since last season when Los Angeles took three of the four meetings. The Rockets are 0-6 against the spread in their last six road games and 3-12-1 against the spread in their last 16 games overall. The Lakers are 1-4 against the spread in their last five Monday games and 6-2 against the spread in their last eight games overall. The over is 6-1 in Rockets' last seven Monday games. The under is 5-2 in Lakers' last seven overall. The Rockets are 13-5 against the spread in the last 18 meetings meetings in Los Angeles and 4-1 to one against the spread in the last five meetings. The Rockets could be shorthanded again as Kevin Porter Jr. is listed as day-to-day, -day, while the Lakers will again be missing Austin Reeves, Patrick Beverly, and Anthony Davis. While the Rockets are 4-1 to one against the spread in their last five games facing the Lakers do not look for that trend to continue. While both teams played yesterday, it is never a good idea to bet the road team in the second game of a back-to-back. While the Lakers are banged up, they nearly beat a good 76ers team in their last game, and in their three-game skit, all the teams they have played are over .500. The Rockets have been mired in their worst slump of the season, but they were right in the contest with the Clippers last night until the fourth quarter where they completely fell apart. The Los Angeles Lakers are on the end of a back-to-back -back and coming off a heartbreaking loss, so there could be a letdown factor here. However, the Lakers can't afford to let losses linger if they're serious about making the playoffs. The Houston Rockets are terrible, and they're losing their last five games by an average of 18 points. I do not see the Lakers lighting up the scoreboard with all their injured players, but they will step up on defense, sending the reeling Rockets to their 11th straight loss. If the Lakers can't win this game, something is wrong. So the Los Angeles Lakers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Lakers have an under record of 5-2 in their last seven games, and they have three players that are averaging in double figures all out for this game. However, they will play good defense, which will be easier since Houston ranks second to last in the league in points per game. This game will be a slower-paced one and with neither team putting up a high total. While the total has gone over in four of the last five games between these Western Conference rivals, I am leaning towards the under in this game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.